just sniffing downtown at the camp. Oh, won't we won't be long. Yeah. Do we need anything? What's up guys? Liam here and welcome. <laughs> oh, I can't stop coughing in all my videos. Back to LSJ TV. So you have clicked on today's video. Either Number one, because you are a subscriber and you know how sick every single video that I make is. Number two, you go into uni, you've just had your A-level results or you're just about to get your A-level results and you're panicking. And so you are doing exactly what I did just before I went to university and searching for a video with someone who's kind of been there, done that, just with a bit of advice, some real, real talk, you know? What's it going to be like? What can you expect? And how can you survive? throughout this time, you know? So that's what we're gonna get into. Right up, now I ain't got no kids yet, but this right is for practice. I hate to get the seats in the bins wet, but that's how good your ass is. Make an old man get his glasses, make Wesley pay his taxes, then follow your moves all week on Twitter. Probably make a gay nigga reconsider. Tip number one. Be yourself. Just be yourself. She calling, she texting, she's falling, but let me explain. Gotta tell your old boyfriend, skate girl, cause a nigga don't play them. Oh, oh, two options. Do I, um, do I get out the car, get back in, and do the fancy edit? Or keep it real and just sit like this? I don't care. I would say to be yourself on the grounds that. If you go to uni, like, and, and you put this kind of, this act, this persona on, right? The person that's not really you, then you can only keep that up for so long. And all of a sudden, two, three weeks down the line, like a few months down the line, you know, the, the real you kind of starts to come out. And then all of a sudden, the people that you thought were your friends might not actually like you because you were pretending to be someone else that you really weren't. So be yourself from the get-go, and um, not everybody might like that. Like, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Not everybody might not like you. But to be honest, the sooner that you accept that not everybody is going to like you, you're not going to be best friends with everybody. Because, you know, everyone wants to go to uni and make new friends and stuff, but you're not gonna be friends with everybody. And so the sooner you kind of accept that, realize that, and just be yourself and have a quality friendship group over a massive quantity of kind of crap friends, the better, you know? Hey puppies. <laughs> right, so, if you are new here, <laughs> These are my crazy dogs. And they are here to tell you that if those people don't like the real you instead of this persona, then quite frankly, f them. Because they are not the positive people, they are not the nice people that you want to be associating with. You need to pick people like these guys that are always buzzing to see you. Hi, you pups. Don't go around kissing people like that though. That's just, you know, a bit weird. Hello mate, long, long time no see. Right, ready to go gym? Are you driving or am I? Okay, okay. Joking. Right now, I ain't got no kids yet, but this right here's for practice. I hate to get the seats in the bins wet, but that's how good your ass is. Make an old man get his glasses, make Wesley pay his taxes, then follow your moves all week on Twitter. Probably make a gay nigga reconsider. So, for those of you that are new to the channel, this is my home gym. This is where I train where I'm not at university, which obviously now I am not. I spent the entire last year, yes, year. 100 episodes making a series entirely dedicated to graduation, dedicated to me graduating, the kind of transition from university life, the kind of relaxed kind of atmosphere and vibe that you have when you're training at university and when you're just living your life at university in comparison to working life. And that was kind of like the graduation series. So that's why I kind of feel like I'm 
viable, is that the right word? The right kind of guy to make this video. So you'll see me training in here pretty much every single video because I predominantly make fitness based content, you know, I throw in the occasional eating challenge and just some random like lifestyle kind of stuff as well. But a big part of my life is fitness and that is one thing that I actually discovered at university which is kind of why I wanted to throw it in this video as well. It leads me on to tip number two and that is to be open minded. By that I mean be open minded about everything, about the people you're going to meet, the sports you might be able to play, the clubs you can go to and everything really. Just Go with an open, fresh mindset and just think, right, I'm going to meet brand new people. I've got so many opportunities, so many, with so few responsibilities, really, in the grand scheme of things. And just seize that. Just make the most of it. One thing I always say to anybody that I know going to university is to just join, sign up to any club you possibly can. They have something called a Freshers' Fair, right? It is dedicated to you guys starting in September 2019. It's dedicated to you guys 2019, 2020, 21, whatever, this will always apply, right? Your university will have what's called a Freshers' Fair, and you'll go around, there'll be loads of stalls, loads of people from all the different clubs. Sign up to anything, if you even have a remote interest in it, like, I don't know, fencing, badminton, table tennis, if you even have the teeniest, tiniest, minute interest in that club, sign up for it at the Freshers' Fair, go to it, and if you don't like it, just don't go back. And be open-minded because you can meet some of the best people at those clubs. You can meet some of the best people that you live with. You can also meet some of the worst, but just be open-minded to, to the entire situation. Okay? Can't get enough of what you got. Good guys, you hit the spot. Try to let go, but I just cannot. So don't you stop, I need it. Glow, try to cold, hide it. Even way out in London town. Hoes holler cause they love my sound. And I got love for the underground. Quali, Pimp C, H-Town will bring it down. Met a bad bitch that'll cut all night, that'll suck all night. You just cut off light. Almost missed my flight, trying to get my last little nut, alright? She be down for whatever, whenever I want to get up in the guts, alright? Tip number three is to budget. Budget your money, I can't stress this enough, guys. I mean, if you're starting in September or whenever, start saving now, because university can be expensive, especially if you have a social life combined with the stuff. Like, the books you need to buy are just freaking expensive, so... Budget for it, account for how much money you have, how much you get in your loan, how much you get in a grant, if you get a bursary or whatever. Combine all those things and figure out how much money you're gonna have every week, whether that's 10 pounds, whether that's 30 pounds, 50 pounds, 100 pounds, right? Accept the fact that your budget might not be the, bu the biggest, and you're probably gonna have friends that have a ridiculous amount of money that can just spend and spend and spend, but stick to what you have, budget your own money, it's great practice for later on in life, right? Because I wouldn't be as good with money as I am now, he says in inverted quotation marks, if I hadn't had to practice this at uni. And please, 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 I cannot stress this enough, don't lie about your money. If you don't want to do something, like you don't want to go out, don't say, oh, you know, I can't, I can't do this, I've got no money, when everyone knows, like, you know, you have the money. Just be upfront and honest with people and say, look, I'm, I'm really not feeling that, I don't want to go. Just be honest and people will respect and appreciate that honesty. Tip number five. Wait, number four. If you are unsure on anything, and I mean anything, whether that is related to any of the previous questions, the fresh is fair stuff, the, the budget stuff, there will be someone at university, the university makes millions and millions and millions per year, right? They have the money to pay these people for you to literally be waited on by hand and foot, you know? If you have a, a question about an assignment, if you have a, qu a question about your money, if you have a question about anything that the university has to offer, just do a little bit of research and figure out who you need to go and ask and how they can help you because they will help you. They literally employ people to help you and pay them like good money because you're paying 9,000 pounds plus per year. Universities make so much freaking money, man. Cold world. Southside, can't get enough, can't get enough. East side, west side, worldwide. Right out. Now I ain't got no kids yet, but this right here's for practice I hate to get the seats in the bins wet, but that's how good your ass is Make an old man get his glasses, make Wesley pay his taxes Then follow your moves all week on Twitter, probably make a gay nigga reconsider You now rockin' with the best man, dress game down to the sex game Won't grab but the boy been blessed man, let you play with the stick, oh wretch king She calling, she texting, she's falling, but let me explain Gotta tell your old boyfriend skate girl, cause a nigga don't play them so, tip number five, 
dead simple really. Just enjoy it. You will never have this much free time again. You will never have this few responsibilities again. I mean, yes, some people have to kind of work. I was fortunate enough not to have to have a job throughout uni. But even the people that I knew that had a job, you know, they still had a lot more free time than, let's say, my old man who works a full-time job, self-employed, you, you know, you see what I mean? Use that time wisely, invest it, maybe start something that you enjoy, a hobby, like I kind of, I started this when I was at university, right? And I put kind of everything into it because I had that little bit extra spare time. In this last year, it has been a lot more difficult to keep up the consistent videos. I have done, but it was a lot easier to do so at university. And so, you know, just make the most of that time that you have. If you're about to start university, you are literally, <laughs> cliche, right? You are literally about to embark upon the most ridiculous, amazing, fun, hilarious, sad, brilliant roller coaster of your entire life. There will be highs, there will be lows. Prepare yourselves because, you know, it's not gonna be all sunshine and rainbows. There will be stressful times. There will be also some of the best times of your life and you will meet some of the best people that you will treasure forever and ever and ever. Just get out there and enjoy it, please. For me, I would do anything to go back. So that is it for today's video. Everybody, I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you took something from it. If you are starting university, good luck. Strap your seatbelt on because you are in for a fun ride. Oh my god. Um, seriously though, like, like it's it's going to be really, really good. It's going to be really fun. Just enjoy it. Get your work done. Please don't be that guy that just doesn't go to the lectures. You need to go to the lectures. You will thank me for it when you get to third year and you come to do your dissertation and stuff. You'll wish that you went to that lecture in first year. Just please, just go. They are my top five tips on how to survive university, how to survive first year in particular, and just the whole experience in general, really. So if you think I've missed anything, let me know in the comments. Are you guys watching this video because you're going to uni? Are you guys watching it because you, I don't know, you already subscribed? Or are you watching it because you're thinking about going to uni? Are you at uni? Or just let me know, let me know in the comments. Let's get a good old university chat going in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, do me a massive favor, drop a like, Comment down below and subscribe if you are new. Be sure to check out all the other videos that are all like around here. Subscribe by like pressing here. And check out this video. That's like right here. Thanks. Once more, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good jazz. And I will see you in the next one. Right out. Now I ain't got no kids yet, but this right here's for practice. I hate to get the seats in the bins wet, but that's how good your ass is. Make an old man get his glasses, make Wesley pay his taxes, then follow your moves all week on Twitter.